Hi guys, so having your keywords in the title, in the URL, and in your heading tags is a massive part of on-page SEO. Now, that might seem common sense, but believe it or not, people don't always do it that well. So let me show you an example of a post on my website. Now, the search term that I want to go after is broken link building. Very simple, very straightforward and easy to do. Now, if you're using WordPress, that is what you put in here, broken link building, that's the keyword. That is the URL. Now, make sure that if you're going to add something to the heading, that you do shorten the URL. You don't want a big, long, winded URL. Make sure that the URL specifically targets the keyword. Now, going throughout that, you have, after that, you know, you've got that, that will end up as a header one tag. That will be the URL. Obviously the content has got to talk about broken link building. And I've also got subheadings, which is a heading two tag, talking about short broken link building guide, which is going to give me a long tail keyword. Um, it's also going to, I've got a heading three, what is broken link building. So you want to use header tags throughout the content to target a wider range of keywords. So you'll be able to see here as well that I've got how to do broken link building, which is going to allow me to rank for that search term as well. Now, there is no specific amount of content that you have to have. What I would suggest content wise is to make sure that you're doing as much content as your competition, but using your heading, any subheadings, the URL to capture those keywords, and then further down, we go to all-in-one SEO, wherever you are. Um, all-in-one SEO is here. And you'll be able to see um, the title tag as well and that is the title tag that i've decided to use there and that is really important the title tag the url the heading tags and of course the content on the page is going to allow that particular page to rank for a whole bunch of search terms up the actual page and you can see there that that's the header one tag you can see the url you can see the content, you can see the subheadings, short broken link building guide, what is broken link building, how to do broken link building, and so on. So a very simple and easy way to use your header tag URL um, and title tag to show Google exactly what that page is about. And, and more importantly, use those header tags to target a wider range of long tail keywords. So that is essentially something that you have to do for each and every page on your website and that will stand you in good stead.